All right, so example one, y is equal to the square root of x. What is the maximal domain of this function? It's the domain that's implied by this function. And what that really means is it's the biggest set of x values that could be substituted into the function that would give a valid answer for y. So what values can x have? Well, to take the square root of something, the numbers have to be greater than zero or equal to zero, but not less than zero. You can't have the square root of a negative number, except in the area of math called complex numbers. However, this is not anything to do with complex numbers. This is just the rest of maths. And so all you really have to say is, well, let's let x be greater than or equal to zero. And that actually is the maximal domain right there. If you pick any x value from that set of numbers, which is from zero to infinity, including decimals, fractions, whole numbers, and substituted that number, if you picked any number and then substituted it into there and then took the square root of it, you would have a valid y answer. So that is one way of writing the maximal domain in interval notation. 0 to infinity is another way of writing the maximal domain or just the domain. And 0 is included and infinity always has a round bracket. And the other way you can do it is to go, it's equal to the set, uh, sorry, x is an element of real numbers that are positive, so r plus, as well as, or union, the value x is zero. So either of those three ways are a way of writing the domain for this, which in fact is the maximal domain. And the maximal domain is really the domain that is implied by the function when th there is no domain given. So another example, y equals 1 on x minus 2. Are there any values here that x can't be? And there's only one value, and it can't be equal to 2. And if you had 2 for x, 2 minus 2 would equal 0 and then that would equal 1 on 0, which is undefined. So undefined, and that's always the answer you need to give when you have anything divided by 0. And so because x can't equal 2, but it can equal any other number, the domain for that would be all real numbers except for the value 2. And that's what this backward slash means, except for or excluding. So all reals excluding the value 2. And once again, you could go x is an element of, and so there's the domain or the maximal domain for this function. And that's probably the easiest way of writing the domain. You could do it in interval notation as well by going from minus infinity up to the value 2, but not including the value 2. Union, or as well as, or including the value from 2, but not including 2, up to positive infinity and that's another way of writing the domain for this function. Another example and this one is y is equal to the square root of 25 minus x cubed. And once again you've got the square root of something so that means that what's under here must be positive or equal to zero so that's all you have to do write 25 minus x cubed is greater than or equal to 0 and then solve that. So adding x cubed to both sides you get 25 is greater than or equal to x cubed and to undo this cubed here so you get x on its own all you have to do is take the cube root of both sides so cube root of 25 is greater than or equal to the cube root of that and putting the step in so all of that cancels out that cubed and you're left with x and that becomes I'll just actually do that over here so x is less than or equal to the cube root of 25 which can also be written like this 25 to the power one third and that's the maximal domain so any x value that's less than 25 to the power one third which actually equals 2.92 2.9240 and that actually keeps going forever so for this 
kind of question to write the maximal domain this one here this is the preferred way because you're using the exact value of the cube root of 25 this is only an approximation no matter how no matter how many decimal points you have after sorry decimal places how many numbers after the point is what I'm trying to say no matter how many of them you have it will only be an approximation to the value of the cube root of 25 so when you actually specify the domain this is the preferred way of doing it and you can either use this notation uh, actually it's a little bit harder to do it that way it can be done however uh, interval notation or just this notation so interval notation would be something like uh, x is less than so the smallest value would be minus infinity up to the biggest value the cube root of 25 so 25 to the 1 and third and that actually should be a square bracket because that value is being included so either of those two would be correct ways of writing the domain for this function here and there was one more example I wanted to do so example 4 if you have x sorry y equals 1 on the square root of x now once again the square root of x x has to be positive but it can't be zero because if you have zero then that would be one over the square root of zero which would equal one over zero so there is a value to the square root of zero zero times itself equals zero and once again this is undefined so the domain for that one would be x has to be greater than zero and you could write that like that or in interval notation zero to infinitive non-inclusive or you could go x is an element of r plus just r plus which is positive real numbers so that's what the maximal domain is it's the implied domain when no domain is specified and all that means is the biggest set of x values that could be substituted into the function to give a valid y value or a valid output